it going? It's your girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. And as you guys can see from the video, today I will be showing you guys how to do part two of how to make a puffer coat. In this section, I will be adding the lining, the cuffs, and the collar, along with the zipper. So please pay attention. If you have any other questions, please leave below in the comments. Pay close attention to the details. As you guys can see, I already have my lining patterns cut out. I just copied and used the same patterns from parts one video. If you haven't gone to see that video, please go ahead and watch that video first. And again, this is my pattern that I will be using. This is spandex and I just copied the same pattern from the first video onto this fabric for my lining. Okay, so what you can see is that I added or I pinned right sides to right sides of the fabric. So this is the neck portion of the jacket. I'm pinning everything down so that when I sew this down, I'm going to flip it inside out. And then once I flip it inside out, I'm then going to go ahead and put this sleeve inside of this sleeve. So that once it's sewn, it's going to look something like this. And this is the inside of the jacket. And everything is going to be nicely folded. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the neck part after and the waistband after. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but I actually, again, I put my right sides to right sides, my right front bodice and my right side to my lining fabric together, and I sewed all the way around in a circle. And right now, I am at the front center seam. Right now, this is the side seam. So I sewed all the way around until I got to my side seam. I put an X on where I'm not gonna sew. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this spot open so that I can turn the jacket inside out so when I turn it inside out this will be the only section that I will need to hand sew I'm gonna go ahead and hand sew this once I turn it inside out and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like once I turn this inside out So now that you see that I turned my jacket inside out, this will be the front and once you open it, it will be the graffiti and again, I have my sleeve and I'm going to go ahead and take this and push this inside of my sleeve and the sleeve should come out right about here. You have the option of really just taking this and pinning it around the sleeve. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and put my wristband around here and next I'm gonna go ahead and add my collar and my waistband super cute super New York BX all day mm -mm -mm. okay I went ahead and I cut out my collar for my jacket now I just measured around my neck which was 28 inches and I want the collar to kind of hang over a little bit so I'm going to put it around my neck just to show you guys what I'm talking about it goes around and I want it to come down a little bit but you won't be seeing this part because this part of course of the jacket is going to go ahead it's going to be the print on this side just like the lining so the inside that you're going to see is this and then the outside is going to be this but of course this is going to be zippered up here and then you are going to see this or my client or my model can wear it however she wants it so it's going to be super cute
Everything is done. The zipper is in. The collar is lined with the graffiti spandex print. It's high neck, so the model or the client has an option to wear high neck and comfortable like that. Or you can just fold over one side if you like, or you can fold over both sides. I didn't add the polyfill inside the neck because I want my client to be comfortable and I don't want it to be too stiff where she just can't like move her neck. So this is again my version of making a puffer coat. Only thing I'm going to need to finish is just the, um, I'm going to go ahead and sew the lining. I have it pinned right now so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and top stitch this. In the same way I did the waistband, I'm going to do it again around the wrist, make it um, smaller and more comfortable so it can, you know, kind of scrunch up like that. And after that, it will be finished. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. So let me put the jacket on. Oh my God, with this lining, see when I just put it on, like you don't want the top to be all like stiff like that. I like it loose and comfortable because I want people to see this graffiti print and normally when people wear this jacket you're not gonna just wear it up like that some girls that I see they just like to wear it and we in New York so people like to have their own swag on it you know they like to wear it like this for pictures they like to wear it open and then they like to show the lining like this so it's like super cute like I'm loving super dope this is part two of how to make a puffer coat. This is my version of how to make a puffer coat. This is a puffer coat beaded mesh lined with neoprene and again lined with spandex graffiti print. I use a metal zipper. You go ahead and zipper that up. And again, I did not add polyfill within the collar because I do not want it so stiff, but you can wear up like that. Let me open it up because it's hot. But anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. This is part two of the video. Again, I showed you guys how to do part one. If you haven't gone and see that part one, go ahead and go see part one. This is part two. Watch it again, watch it again, and watch it again. I promise you, every time you watch the video, you will see something different. Or if you guys are going to create this particular beaded mesh spandex lined bomber coat, go ahead and leave a uh, a message below and let me know in the comments if you want to make it send me a picture send me an email but I want to see you guys's recreation thank you guys for watching my video and I love this jacket so Mwah.